Hey guys, Philip Passmore here, and I'm doing another quick tutorial. Um, this one's going to be slightly different than previous ones. It's more to do with the... I wanted to do something on power and shields, because I noticed I've still got friends who are screwing this up. And this is something you kind of need to learn to produce large ships. And admittedly, I haven't really had to learn it. Because you can get by on smaller ships without needing to know how to do proper, effective um, power generation systems. But since doing the cloaking ship, and considering I want this ship to be able to um, jam, uh, yeah, I've built. This is going to be a huge ship eventually. Probably looking at about. Mm, I'm not actually sure. I might go for about 28 wide. 28, 29 wide, three floors, and I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but you know it's a work in progress. And now, what you see here is essentially a it's a ship core. It's going to be the most defended room in. It's going to be the center of the ship, basically, and the most defended room. Now. You can see the power generators and you can see the power tanks. Now, to increase the uh, power tanks, okay, let's mm, probably best do an example. If I was to put down a power tank here, I've just increased the energy per second by 35 uh, ish by the looks of it. Actually, no, maybe 40. Okay, so I've improved it by 40 by putting it there. Um, that isn't much. And. If I was to go out to like one of the edges and put that there, I've just increased power by hmm, respectable 145. So, yeah, you kind of need to keep putting power generators going outwards in each direction. Uh, the way I kind of do it is, the way I've designed this one is it's going underneath corridors. And I'm kind of doing it as a sort of, if you can imagine wiring up the ship. So the core power flows will of course go past the core. And make sure everything, all the power generators are then connected. This isn't the same rule you need to know for um, shields. Shields, on the other hand, are absolutely wonderful space fillers. They don't need to be connected to, um, they have the same effect if... Let's say I was to go over here. If I was to put some down here, it would have the same shield boost and the same impact on recharge rate as if I actually put it down connected to some to um some shield generators if I can find some. Um there we go. So yeah they the protection they give stacks over time. Well, it stacks, but they don't actually have to be touching at all. Uh, if I was to put the blocks apart, it's the same boost to um, regen or shields and shield capacity. So the way I kind of use shields is that they're great fillers. So where I've actually built a more complex sort of power line system underneath. I can fill all these random little gaps which have been left with shield generators. And it's nice they don't follow the same rules. Power tanks, of course, follow the same rules as power generators. And I thought this would make a nice little tutorial because I've seen some really weird advice on the forums. And I don't know whether it's just old advice or whether this is actually still relevant. Um, for example, blocking generators. Uh, five by five blocks. So uh, yeah, five by five by five blocks of generators. So 125 generators. If you do that in a block, apparently that gives you a massive energy boost. Now, okay, it does give more energy boost than if it was, you know, 125 generators randomly placed around the ship. There, I think it gives like two or three times the amount of power. But it's not the most efficient method because by expanding out in um, certain directions, if I go over here, I get a boost of about 700 power. 
and maybe close to 800 there so yeah as, as you can see it's a case of I'm not getting a boost some people are claiming you should get you should be able to get a boost around I think people are claiming 20 to 30,000 with a 5x5 five by five, by five um, block of generators but I'm just not getting that um, I'm getting a nice boost to about 8,000, 9,000 just not what people are claiming I should be getting but you know it could be old information it could have been edited out at any point I really can't say um, you know these sort of these sort of things change as things get rebalanced and patched so currently the most effective method I found of producing power has been corridor along corridors and just making sure you kind of wire up your ship so you've definitely got generators heading outwards and it uses I mean there's a few advantages to this it uses less generators it produces more power and you may be wondering why I've doubled because if you go down here you can see following the bottom of the corridor there's generators on both sides but that's more to do with the fact that I don't want to leave any weak points for um, block damage in a fight really and even here um, I've got downward stairs which I need to build so I'm probably going to have to take that lump out um, run them under here but that isn't a problematic that is actually really easy to do but yeah, no, as you can see, um, power tanks don't add actually much power until you've got an awful lot of them. But they work in the same way as generators. But I thought some of you might be interested, and if you were wondering about how to make really effective power systems, uh, this is how. Uh, again, a lot of the um, a lot of the things I found, it normally comes to you have to plan in the initial building stage. So, like, if you want a cloaking ship, you really need to build a ship designed to cloak, rather than build a ship and then go, okay, now I want it to cloak, because um, it's just not going to work out for you, not without major re, well, major rebuilding really. So, anyway, nice simple tutorial, and I hope this helps if you were interested really, and you were struggling on this at all. Um, if you like the video, hit like, and. Um, Yep, yeah, subscribe to the channel for more future Star Made videos. I will be producing more, of course. Uh, this game's absolutely awesome, and I'm, yeah, as you can see from my initial building stage, I am nicely addicted to it, so <laughs> there will be more videos. So, yeah, so thanks for watching.